Right, so let me demonstrate how to do safe margins in both Shotcut and Premiere Pro. So with Shotcut, there's no easy way. Simplest thing to do is to download a margins template and just drop it in. So the first thing that you would do if you don't already have one is to create a new track by clicking on these three bars here. Go to track operations add new track then we will go to home file and import your margins template i'm going to add it on our VLE. so there we have it so now all we have to do is just drag it into this new track layer we found and there you have it pretty much what you want to do now is lock this layer so you don't interfere with it then go back down to the layer you want to work on And you can add your text. Oops, that's not how I add text. Text, simple. And then Oh, I need to drop something here. Let's go to other, and then color, and let's call this color. Transparent, yeah. Drag this down here. Here we have the title. So, of course, naturally, we need our title to we we'll need our title to match what's going on here. Oh, there's the text. So we could put a text here or here or anywhere in between, right? So it's an older TV set or just TV in general, just stick it here. All right, let's switch over to Premiere Pro. All right, it's where is Premiere Pro? Premiere Pro is not showing up here. I'm going to have to start this over. All right, great. So Premiere Pro is up. So it's a lot simpler in Premiere Pro. All we have to do is go to view. Oh, let me click on the, the clip. We'll go to view. What happened here? View. What's happening here? Why is this thing not showing? This is very peculiar. Oh. All right, so we have to click on the preview window. Sorry, because that's where we want the grid to be. View, you go down to guidelines, you click save margins, and there you go. 
you have your snare margin and ultra margin. 